Okay, that's all. May I, may I take note? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, class, since ngayon, meron na kayong nalaman nyo na kung ano yung um, ang ating topic for today. Bali ngayon, kumuha kayo ng one for sheet of paper and make a reflection paper about sa video na pinanood natin ngayon din. Yes, sir. And I'll give you five minutes to do that um, reflection paper. I mean, reaction paper. Yes, sir. Time starts now. Okay, class, sign is up. Please pass your paper in front. Thank you, Ms. Amira. So, class, what have we observed in our activity? Yes, Ms. Rihanna? I have said that the video, video presentation shows that CIP people teach our contest Contest evaluation, input evaluation, process evaluation, and product evaluation. Yes, correct. The, the video uh, is all about the uh, model of Daniel Stamper, which is the CI, CIPP model. The content, the input, and the pro product, and the process evaluation. As the proceed for the formal discussion of our topic for today. So, what is our, the, C, the CIPP model? This CIPP model is, is the product of the Philippine Delta Kappa Committee chaired by Daniel Stapleville. The model emphasized that the result of the evaluation should provide data for the decision making. So, um, si Daniel Stapleville, Stapleville um, ang founder ng model ng CIPP model. And this is uh, and, uh, and that this is a uh, CIPP model now is that the result of the evaluation should provide data for the decision making. And this uh, CIPP model stands for Context evaluation. So, what is context evaluation? Um, the context evaluation assess needs and problems in the context for decision makers to determine the goals and the objectives of the program curriculum. So, malino naman siya, no? That the context evaluation job is determine niya the, uh, the goals and the objectives of that curriculum. Next one is the input evaluation. So, what is input evaluation? When we talk about um, input evaluation, when we talk about input evaluation, it assesses alternative means, means based on the input of the, or the or the achievements of the objectives to help decision makers to choose option for optimal means. So, in the context evaluation, you know, uh, dito, it is determined to ano yung mga uh, yung goals and objectives of that uh, program or of that uh, curriculum. While in the in input, it assesses the alternative means based on the inputs of that achievement or objectives to help the decision makers choose option for optimal means. Next one. Is the product evaluation? Nineteen plus? Yes, sir. So when it talks about um, process uh, evaluation, it monitors the process both to ensure. Hindi do me again. Yes, sir. When it talks about process evaluation. It monitors the process uh, both to ensure that the means are actually being implemented and made necessary modification. Thank you, Nihan. And next one is the uh, product evaluation. 
the product evaluation is the the com uh, compares actual ends with intended ends and leads to a series of recycling decisions. Okay, class, let us uh, proceed for the uh, six steps taken in all the stages. Mami, pwede pa tulong? Yes. Okay, class, these are the six steps taken in all stages, which is this the, uh, for uh, the context, the input, the process, and the product. So, in step one, uh, you have to identify the kind of the decision to be made. Kailangan mo nang uh, i-identify kung ano yung decision na gagawin mo. And in step two, anyone who can read the step two? Yes, Ms. Rahat. Step two, identify the kinds of data to make the decision. Okay, since na, na, uh, na-identify mo na kung ano, ano yung decision na uh, gagawin mo, bali mag- um, i-identify mo kung ano yung kinds of data na gagawin, uh, gagawin mo ay i-apply mo on that decision. Na guess? Yes, sir. Okay, let's proceed for the third step. Yes, Miss Kudala? Step three, connect, connect the data needed. Okay, after mo mag-identify ng decision, then i-apply mo yung mga uh, data, uh, i-apply mo yung or you must, uh, you must identify the kinds of data na i-apply mo on that decision. And after that, the step three, you have to collect those data na kailangan mo sa uh, sa curriculum na iyon. Um, how about the step four? Yes, let's be salipungan para natutulog ka na. Nakikinig ka ba? Step four, pakibasa. Step four, establish the criteria to determine the quality of data. Okay, kailangan mo mag-establish ng criteria to determine the quality of the data. Kasi baka yung nakuha mo mga data is hindi siya reliable sa uh, na kailangan mo doon sa iyong uh, paggawa ng curriculum. So, kailangan na mag-establish ka ng criteria mo kung pasado ba ito or hindi. Naitipihan? Yes, sir. Yes, Mrs. Mael? So, the step 5 is analyze data based on the criteria. Yes, in the step 5, you must analyze the da data based on the criteria. Ma no, naitipihan? Yes, sir. How about the step 6? Yes, Ms. Kudala. Organize needed information. Organize needed information needed for decision makers. Okay, since natapos mo na si step 1 down to step uh, 5, kailangan mo daw i-organize lahat ng no, mga niya. Uh, kailangan na information for that decision na ginawa mo. Naiintindihan? Yes, sir. Okay, let us proceed for the um for the uh, curriculum evaluator, uh, the ninth step for the curriculum evalu uh, evaluator are the following. The curriculum evaluator follows the steps below. In in the step one, it uh, meet with stakeholders to identify the other uh, perspective and intentions regarding in curriculum evaluation. In step two, anyone who wants to read? Sure. <coughs> yes, Ms. Rama. Step two, girls from step one documents to determine the scope of the evaluation. Okay, you must to draw the uh, step one of the documents to uh, determine the scope of that evaluation. And after that, the step three, how about the step three? Yes, Mr. Ismael. The step, the step three would be to observe the curriculum closely to identify the intended sense of implementation and my divisions from announced intents. Okay, you must observe the curri uh, curriculum closely. That to identify the intended sense of that implementation. Thank you, Mia. Yes, sir. How about the step four? Yes, Ms. Rihanna. Step four. Identify the state's real purpose of the program and the various audiences. Okay, in a step four, you must identify 
the stated real purpose of that program can be various OBSS. For uh, the step five, anyone? Yes, Miss. Again. Okay. Aside from Mr. Ismael, yes, Mr. Nipoma. So, step five identifies the problems with curriculum evaluation and run and identifies an evaluation design with daily data. Okay. Uh, in step five, you must identify the uh, identify the problems of that curriculum evaluation at hand and identify an evaluation design with needed data. In step up of the step six, yes, again, Ms. Ramar. Step six, select the, select the means to collect, collect data or information. Okay, by, by, collecting or, by collecting the data or information, we must select the means needed. Okay, how about the step seven? Yes, Mr. Ismael. The step seven is assemble and the data collection procedure. In step seven, you must have uh, uh, you need to implement the data collection uh, procedure. Yes. How about the step eight? Yes, Miss Sanipo. Step and organize organize the information in the means. Okay, you must organize that information. Last step, the step nine. Aside from Mr. Ismael, yes, Ms. Rihanna. Step 9. Besides with stakeholders that uh, decide with stakeholders the most appropriate formats for the report. Okay, very good. So I think we have by itong uh, step na curriculum evaluator. Yes, sir. Marina. Well, yes, sir. I'd like to proceed for the CIPP model by Damian Sakovian para maintindihan nyo kung ano ba talaga itong CIPP model na ginawa ni uh, Damian Sakovian. So, the CIPP model again is the context evaluation, the input evaluation, the product evaluation, uh, and the process evaluation. So, when we talk about the context evaluation, this is the goals this is the goals of the, the beneficiary, the, uh, uh, in the goals, I indicated here the beneficiary, the needs, the resources, the problem, the uh, background, and the environment, environment. While in the input evaluation is the plans. In the plans of the, uh, it is indicated here that the plans is about the stakeholders, the strategies that you want to do, or if you want strategies the uh, gathering mo in the budget, the coverage of that uh, curriculum and um, research. Kailangan pagplanuhan mo kung ano dapat yung gagawin ninyo. Next one is the product evaluation. The product evaluation is this is the outcome. Kung si context evaluation is goals, then si input evaluation is the plan, the outcome is the product evaluation from the word product. Ito na yung magiging product as the or the outcome. Um, what is the impact, the effectiveness, the transportability, the sustainability, and the uh, end adjustment. Lastly is the, uh, the process. Ay parang yes, nabalintan. 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 Mauna tayo kay process. In process, kay context, this is the goals. And kay input evaluation the plans. And in the process, this is the action. Yes. Then we have, yes. this is the action. Develop, implement, monitor, and uh, give it feedback. Then, uh, after this, the process evaluation, dito na tayo kay product evaluation. Uh, uh, like, since sinabi ko kanina na, the outcome. Yes. From the word of the product, Ito na yung produkto no, ginawa mo, curriculum. Bali, um, itong si product evaluation, dito mo na makikita kung ano yung magiging impact niya sa, uh, sa mga estudyante, sa tao, and gano'n siya ka-effective. Yes. Paano, uh, gano'n siya ka-effective and the sustainability. Nag-guess nyo ba yung model ni Daniel Sacobio? Yes, yeah, it's very clear. Any question? wala kayong katanungan uh, magbibigay ako ngayon ng uh, 
simple quiz about uh, for our topic na dinestas ko ngayon. Um, pwede yung pagkitulong na tanggalin ito, Mr. Ismael? Opo, oh, yan sila. Lahat ng pagkilipit, pagkilagay sa mga sa lalagay. Prepared class kasi um, for our activity, find your partner. Um, Dalawa-dalawa ang dalawa-dalawa ang grupo. And sa, uh, sa activity na ito, i-aarrange ninyo yung nine steps ng evaluator, ng curriculum evaluator. Uh, dito ko malalaman if nakikinig ba kayo kanina sa uh, pag-discuss ko for that nine steps na evaluation. Thank you, Mr. Ismael. Are you ready, class? Yes, sir. Mr. Ismael, who is your partner? Ako um, oh, and Ms. Rihanna and Ms. Salimoma. You are the group one. Ang activity na ito is paunahan. Dito, uh, dito ko makikita kung nakikinig ba talaga or hindi ang uh, kayo kanina kung kailan ako nag-discuss about sa aking uh, topic which is the CIPP model. And kanina napansin nyo the nine steps na binigay ko for that curriculum evaluator na kailangan nilang sundi. Right? Yes. Naiinian? And with that, um, binibigyan ko kayo ng two minutes para i-detect at ipagsunod-sunod ang nine steps ng uh, curriculum evaluator na yun. Paunahan ito guys ha, and after that, merong premyo uh, kung sino ang mauuna. Um, start. Most appropriate formats for that report. 
Okay, thank you Ms. Amira Muhammad Dilig talaga si Ms. Rahan at Mr. Ismael Bigyan ng tatlong bagsa Since na po na sila At para naman din um, Sila ang makanakuha ng prize But um, I'll give you a chance To present your uh, Outdoor Go Ms. Rehan na po dala So in our step one We expect the moments To identify the perspective and for our step two, draws from step one documents to determine its scope of the evaluation. Step three, observes the curriculum closely to identify the unintended sense of implementation and any and any deviations from announced intents. Our step four is to identify the stated real purposes of the program and the various audiences. Step 5 identifies the problem of the curriculum evaluation at hand and identifies an evaluation design with the needed data. Step 6 select the means needed to collect the data or information. I step 7 implement the data collection procedure. Step, step 8 organize the information into things. Our step 9 is decides with stakeholders the most appropriate formats for the report. Okay, very good. Very good, Ms. Kudalat. Bigyan ang dalawang bagsang sila, Ms. Kudalat, at Ms. Kudalat. Bukang naiintindihan ninyo ang uh, topic natin ngayon. Any question? Clarification? Okay, for, uh, dahil wala na kayo mga question, ako ang magtatanong. So class, what have you uh, uh, what have you learned about our topic for today? Yes, Miss um, Sanikoman. So for the reason, my son sir, I have learned the CIPP model by Daniel Sanikoman, which is the context uh, evaluation, input evaluation, uh, process evaluation, and product evaluation are very to emphasize the results of evaluation should provide the data for decision making. That's all, sir. Okay, anyone? Yes, Mr. Ismael, can you differentiate the CIPP model? The context, the input, the process, and the product. So when we talk about the context, it's about the uh, goals or the objectives of the curriculum. Yes. The second one is the uh, input. When we say input, it is the uh, it is the force, the joint forces of the stakeholders to make the curriculum. And afterwards is the process, which is the process or the making of the curriculum. And lastly, the outcomes or the product of the curriculum. That would be all. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Alipongan, also. And now, para makita ko or masigurado ko talaga may natutunan ang bawat isa sa inyo, nag-prepare ako ng um, tell, uh, quiz ninyo for today. And this quiz is uh, about for uh, our discussion uh, our discussion or about sa deliscuss ko uh, the CIPP model and ngayon, ibibigay ko ito sa inyo para sa dutan sa loob ng 10 o 10 minuto. Only 10 minutes, dapat matapos nyo na get one in pass. That is only an identification and essay. Kaya naman, no? Yes. Kung nakilig kayong mabuti, madali nyo masagutan, lalo ng identification. Dahil ang identification ay ginuwa ko lang kung saan, uh, kung, uh, kung ano or kung saan patungkol itong topic natin. The essay as, as well. Ginawa ko din ang essay about for the CIPP model uh, na, uh, na model ni Daniel Stapoville. I'll give you 10 minutes to do that quiz. Okay, are you all done? 
Time is up. Tapos na bang lahat? Yes, yes sir. Okay, pass your paper in front. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for your assignment, um, please make a reflection paper about the CIPT model. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, goodbye class. Goodbye.